work a bit now with different aura defenses. So the first defense I will demonstrate is the most commonly used one. It's kind of the, the porcupine or the hedgehog defense, where basically I am uh, making the edge of my aura kind of rough and spiny, so that the person who's trying to get to me will make relatively little contact and will only make contact with the parts of my aura which are non-flexible. So then I will do another typical defense. This is a defense which is often used by people who uh, feel strongly about not being violent towards others. So this is actually not so much of a defense as more of a, an avoidance mechanism, where the person is in a way uh, hiding their energy by placing it outside of their body, behind them, and also into their lower chakras. So my aura will be moving way in that direction when it gets challenged. So now we will uh, show a person um, who is in a way using a reflective system. So rather than becoming very spiky, I'm just allowing the positive energies which I want to come through, while the energies I don't want, I tend to reflect back to the other person. This may seem like a perfect defense, but what it often leads to is that the person who you're confronted with will start fighting with their own aggression, and actually conflicts can escalate quite a bit, but you're not very affected by it. thing about that type of defense is that it doesn't disturb your ability to absorb energies. Uh, what this type of defense does require is that your heart chakra is well developed, so it can determine very easily what energies are good for you and which energies are not good for you. If the heart chakra is less developed, then people tend to create more of a rough shell. And People with a rough shell are typically people also who find it difficult to be in harmony in the flow with their surroundings. So often these are people who are very conservative in nature, uh, very set in their ways, um, uh, can be yeah, a little bit inflexible. So I'll also demonstrate this type of aura. This type of aura also doesn't matter that much what energy is there around you because there's simply very little circulation, very slow circulation. Then the final type of aura I want to demonstrate is the persons who have a reactive aura. So people who uh, tend to react offensively against any challenge rather than defensively. So in this case you will note that actually as soon as my aura gets challenged it will actually go into the attack itself. Thank you. And thank you for watching.